Okay, this is, I can barely handle this. This is a lot too, it's, it's really too heavy for me. But this is what I'm using here. And what I'm using over here, now you have to hold it for me. I can't possibly hold that up. So you'll hold this up. This is that chain here. This is very heavy, very heavy chain. And then this is a very heavy master lock, really heavy duty master lock with a, with a bolt proof uh, uh, hackle on it. Shackle, hackle, hackle. So what I'm going to do is I'll take the chain, I'll put the, the wheel on the chain. And then I will lock the chain very dramatically. I'll lock it at the at the uh, point, so it makes a complete, perfect circle with a lock on it that I can't possibly get. And then I will have the person hold. I'll have my spectator hold the lock in their hand to make certain that I am not actually meddling with or jimmying the lock. I will then proceed to try to free the wheel. And by the way, the wheel has spokes making it even tougher than a standard ring uh, escape. So I'm going to try this and see what I can do with it. You'll have to hold the ends. Bring it over here for me. I'm going to turn around over here. I'm going to get this set up. You need to hold this for me. This end here. Hold that there. Hold this there for me over there. Hold it. Bring this over like this. Like that. I'm going to bring this one down like this. Put this one across underneath like like this. Hold that in there. And this one goes over like that. And I think that's a fair knot. I'm not sure if that's right or not. Oh, Lord. Oh. Let's see. I guess this is all right. Okay. Now. Okay. So I have this wheel on the chain, and I'm going to leave it down like this. Okay, like that. You're going to hold it, hold the wheel up for me. Pick the wheel up, because I can't possibly get that wheel. No, no, no. No, no, no. Just hold like it. Look, just pick it up like this, and, and, and hold it nice and tight, and give me the lock. Okay. Now, uh, here's one end of the chain. Pull on it. Please pull back a little bit like this. There's one end of the chain there. There's one end of the chain there. Would you agree that this is fair then? I'm going to put this lock through here like this and through here like this. Can you see that's clearly through there? And I'm going to lock this lock. It's locked. It is locked. There's no way this is not locked. I'm going to have you give me a cloth of some kind. Well, let's use this here again. Well, no, it's too small. Doesn't matter. What we'll do, what we'll do is this here. You'll put that on my lap. Now, I'm going to, and you have to hold this up. I can't get this. Hold this up for me. Okay, and I just want to show folks how absolutely secure this is. And you'll notice that this is a complete circle here. This, this, so it's actually on this circle of solid steel. I promise you that none of these links have been cut. None of them have been tampered with. You could look at this to your heart's content, spend a couple of days looking at it. And that is completely, legitimately a, an actual chain. I'm going to have you hold this up like that. And I'm going to turn away from the camera. But you're going to hold this up here to prove to them that I am not tampering with that. You're going to hold it like this to prove that I'm not tampering with that lock in any way, shape, or form. And that's, you're going to hold that there for them so they can see it completely. There's no way in the world that I can tamper with that. And yet, I'm going to free it. There it is. Here's the chain. There's the lock. Completely intact. The wheel is completely intact. And absolutely sound. There's nothing, no break in any of these things. Yet, you saw it happen right in front of your own eyes. There you go. That is an adaptation that I made. I invented that, the wheel and chain, from the Houdini ring, which is this little ring here that I demonstrated the other day.